Hey, how's it going? This is Andrew from Line 6. Um, just wanted to go over some of the Variax settings on the Helix and Helix LT. I'm using LT right now, but it'll work the same as with the Helix. So, by default, the Variax settings, and this is on the second page of the input block. Input block's there, so I'll just show you. All you do is you scroll over the input. We're on page 1 page over one, and then you get the start of the very X settings. Um, so on this page, should normally be uh, default, if you've never gone here, it'll be on global, um, which if you see every one of these says global before it, uh, just to remind you that whatever you do here um, will apply no matter what preset that you're on. Um, so, if I set, let's say, the model to, I've got a shuriken connected, by the way. So if I set it to any one of the model presets um, that's silk screened on the guitar, so hence why this says shuriken. Just pan over here. So excuse the white knobs because they're supposed to be black, but this is a, a pre production model. So it's got a different knob, but. Whatever your JTV, your standard says, um, that'll reflect it as long as you're using Helix 2.3 firmware because that one we added the shuriken banks. In any case, whatever you have it selected on here um, will apply because we're on global no matter what preset you're on. So that selects the model. Um, you can do the same thing for the volume knob, the tone knob. Um, this is for the guitar, whether you want to lock the volume or tone knob, that way if you accidentally hit it, it doesn't change anything. If you want to lock the pickup selector or any combination of those. Um, and then also the tuning. Uh, so this one is just a little bit uh, of confusion, it seems to be with some folks here, where um, there's, there's several ways you can set up the tuning in the guitar. You can set up the tuning in Workbench and then save it with the model, in which case your tuning knob would be on model. So that means whatever tuning you saved with that preset, it would use that tuning. The other tunings that are on your tuning knob here are local tuning presets on the guitar that um, would override whatever's in the model. So that would apply in real time. Similarly, a third way that you can set the tuning is uh, through Helix. So if I go ahead and set this to custom, and then I page over one more page, so the third page of the input block, I see all six strings here represented above each knob. So this, I think, is a great way to set up your tunings for Variax because right away I can just turn the knob whichever way I want and adjust my tuning. Super simple, way easier than trying to set it with the push and hold combinations on the guitar and playing the tuning in. Um, and you've got a note represented here plus the semitone um, difference. And then what's cool is if you just push on these, they'll just revert back to standard. Again, this is all relative to standard tuning, so E, A, D, G, B, E, and you can see the letters there. So if you physically tuned your guitar to something different, it'll just be relative to that. So if I go negative uh, one semitone here, to E flat, but if that string is physically on the guitar tuned to D, it'd be D flat. So just wanted to point that out. Um, so it the, with the tuning, it's really the last one wins. So if you have tunings set up here um, on your preset or snapshots, which I'll get into uh, later, then that tuning would apply over everything else. So um, 
that's that's how I typically have controlled my tunings ever since getting Helix because it just makes it way easier and I don't really have to mess with anything on the guitar. So going back to the second page here, if I go ahead and turn Variac settings to per preset, now every preset can have a different set of parameters. Um, additionally, you can use snapshots to further change this within a preset. So this is the mode I typically use and uh, that Stevic uses and a lot of folks use, which is per preset. So within here, I can set whatever model I want and um, I'll just put tuning to don't force for right now just because I just want to focus on the model preset. So if I set the model preset to this is, um, let's go to some shuriken five, right? And then I go ahead and save that. Then I go to another preset, bank over, and notice now it's, it's already per preset because we set that previously. And I set this to, let's say T model four, and I save that one. Now, if I go back to the other preset, this one's Shuriken 5, and this one is T Model 4. Okay, so same thing applies with the tuning. So this is preset Variax tuning, so the one that's saved with your Helix preset. Um, so if we set this to custom, and then we page over, let's say this one I want uh, an octave down, right? So I go ahead and save that preset. Now I go back to 1A and tuning. Let's put this to custom also because we don't want to stay in one octave. And this one, we just want it to go back to standard tuning, right? We save that. So now if I go to 1B, there I'm an octave down back to 1a and I can see I'm back in standard okay hopefully that made some sense to you guys if not let me know um, ask some questions and just because I don't want you to have to jump around to different videos I know this is pretty long but since we're in here we're talking about it let's talk about snapshots so like with any parameter in helix you can push and turn a knob to automate it to a snapshot. So I'm gonna go ahead and push and turn, and then you see the white brackets around it. Now that means this parameter is automatable by snapshots. So if I go ahead to my view here, I'm in the preset view. Um, let's go ahead to global settings, and I'm gonna change my default view just to make this easier so instead of presets let's do snapshots and presets or actually presets and snapshots so that puts presets on the top row snapshots on the bottom that's how i like to work so we're good there let's go back to home so we see our presets and our snapshots so we're already on snapshot one so and with Helix, I don't have to flip between views, but it does the same thing. So if we look on page two again of the input block, we've assigned the preset model to snapshots, hence the white brackets. So if I go ahead and go to snapshot two, and then I change this to something else. Now, when I click between snapshots, you see the model change. Oops, I was, I pressed and hold too long. If, if you hold both, it'll ask if you want to copy. Just ignore that. So I'll go ahead, snapshot two. That's on preset shuriken four. I hit snapshot one. I'm back to this user four position two. So you can do the exact same thing with tunings. So if I just want to autom automate one string with snapshots, I just push and turn one and then when I go back, that was on E, so I can just toggle, whoops, again, I can just toggle between those. 
But typically, what most people would do is they want to change more than one string. So if you just push and turn all of these, right, now they're all set up for snapshots. So I'll go ahead, reset them all. So that's standard. And then let's make this one an octave down. Octave, there we go. So now when I change between snapshots, there it is. I'm changing tunings within the same preset and also changing the guitar model as well. So that's typically the way I use Variax with Helix. Um, you can also do the same with volume, tone. You can set them. If I just set them here, those will be hard values that won't change per snapshot. But if I push and turn, now I can change, let's say, volume per snapshot if I wanted to. Uh, if you want to remove the snapshot automation, you can push and hold this, and then it'll bring you to this menu where I can say it's on control or snapshots. I can say none, and now there won't be any controls. So if I hit home again and I go back, you'll see the volume knob is here. Snapshot control has been removed. I just go back to don't force. So I hope that helped. If you had any questions or you want to see some more uh, videos, let me know. Thanks. Bye.